The holiday shopping season is upon us, and with the release of Forza Horizon 5 and many new sim racing hardware, sim racing peripherals and games are sure to be on the top of many people's wish lists. So whether you're looking to buy something for your son or daughter, boyfriend or girlfriend, or husband or wife, this quick video is intended to let you all know of the best, budget-oriented sim racing gear and tell you which one is probably best suited for you. Also, all gear I will mention is linked in the video description for your convenience. Starting off with the wheel and pedals, the following are great budget conscious options. The G29 or G920 and the Thrustmaster T150 and TMX. They retail for around the $250 mark and provide good performance for the money. The G29 and T150 work with PlayStation consoles as well as PC and the G920 and TMX work with Xbox and PC. If you're wondering how the Logitech G29 and G920 compare to the Thrustmaster T150 and TMX, I've made a separate, far more in-depth video comparing the two. But in essence, these wheels offer a fantastic entry into this hobby and come with everything you need to get up in racing. Other great but more expensive options are the Logitech G923, Thrustmaster T248, T300 or TSXW, and the Fanatec CSL DD. I would look a lot more into these if you're willing to spend more, but since I'm only focusing on budget offerings, I'm not going to get too much into them. In terms of a sim racing cockpit to put your wheel and pedals onto, I'll start by saying that you don't actually need one, and if you're looking to minimize costs, at all costs, you can get away by using a regular desk or table. This is because the wheels I previously mentioned come with table clamps, which will allow you to tightly hook it up to a flat surface and get racing. But if you insist on needing a cockpit, which I'd recommend, there are a ton of great budget options out in the market. The two budget-friendly options which I've personally tested out and reviewed are the Next Level Racing GT Lite and Wheelstan 2.0. The GT Lite retails for $230 and is essentially a full-fledged cockpit. It has the seat, a shifter, handbrake mount, a pedal plate, and a wheel plate. It's also portable and easy to store away for those of you tight on space. The only catch with the GT Lite is that it won't be able to properly support higher end gear. So if you get sucked into this hobby and upgrade to more demanding gear, you'll also have to upgrade your rig. For beginners using entry level wheels though, it's a great choice. The wheel stand 2.0 is not a full fledged cockpit, rather it's a wheel stand that you use with your own chair. The great thing about this is that it will be able to support nearly all sim racing gear. I've used it with a direct drive base and it handled it like a champ for example. Of course, the negative is that it's not a full-fledged cockpit, but it does give you the option to convert it into the GT track if you decide to purchase the $500 GT seat add-on later down the road. Of course, you'll also need some games to use with all this new gear. For this section, I'll separate them into the more casual, laid-back games you can enjoy and just cruise around in, and the more serious, simulation-heavy games that require lots more time and energy to get really good at. Some of the more casual games which I'd recommend are the following. Forza Horizon 5 or 4, Project Cars 2, The Crew 2, Forza Motorsport, Gran Turismo Sport, F1 2021, and Dirt 5. The more serious and demanding games I would recommend are the following. Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa Competizione, Dirt Rally 2, R Factor 2, and BMNG Drive. This list of games are some of the most popular, which is sure to have something for everybody at a relatively affordable price point. Assuming you already have a PC or console and TV or monitor, you're pretty much good to go. Just make sure to pay special attention to the compatibility of whatever you're buying. For example, if you own a PS4, make sure the wheel you're purchasing is compatible with PlayStation and the same with the game. If you want to buy Forza Horizon 5 but only have a PlayStation for example, you won't be able to play it as that is an Xbox and Windows PC exclusive title. Likewise, don't purchase Gran Turismo if you don't have a PlayStation because you won't be able to play it. Hopefully this short video gave you all a rough idea or framework for what might work best for you and cleared up some of your questions. If it did, feel free to leave a like because it tells YouTube to recommend this video to more people and if it didn't, comment any questions down below and I'll try my best to respond. As always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.